Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's begin Virgo. You really have to be careful this week as you are leading into quite a few things, into not only a busy work week, but having to correct loads of, pardon me, loads of mistakes or failing to meet the criteria. And this is all depending upon where you are at. Okay, but the, the one thing I want to bring to your attention is mostly to do with being accident prone. There's a lot of stuff that's going on around you and that appears to be uh, complete um, and there will be a struggle to, things need to be completed, okay, and there will be that struggle to try to get there, to finish things off, to try to get the job done. I want to go back to being accident prone. I do see a set of stairs. I do see that you are needing to be extra careful this week, please. That is definitely showing up for you, so... You know, whether there's a little clumsiness or, or whatever the case may be, you really need to try and and be careful. Be very, very careful. Um, look, it doesn't matter what that may be in terms of completing things, as I mentioned before, but it's a mix of everything. It's, it's a mix of crazy, really. It's absolutely a little bit of everything that's going on around you. You could be doing things around the home and, and you're not finishing tasks that you set out for yourself. And then when it comes to work you could be struggling to see the finish line because you think that it's okay to take time out in between, you know, and you will eventually get to it. And really the reality is that you really need to focus on trying not to think too much about things and especially those things that are not important and you're allowing your emotions to get to you. So there is a lot going on with your emotional self this week as well, which will affect how you think and will affect your movements where you could be taking things too seriously, too literally taking a lot of things personally rather than seeing the lighter side of things and trying to get through things with a clear conscience. Yes, it's going to be a struggle, but you will overcome this provided you get yourself out of that way of thinking that almost wants to hold you back and you allow it. Okay, you need not to. Funny enough, you are quite organized. In a, with all, everything that's going on, you are very organized, which is just insane it's complete opposites which is most likely the reason you're able to stop yourself in your own tracks and be able to get back on with it with whatever is happening in your life regarding anything that you're doing but I'm saying that you are really organized except there's just that slight issue that you're having with moving forward at times okay although you're not quite ready to give up however I am seeing that you're being drawn into seclusion or isolation at the same time you may not feel as though you want to be around people, but you will be and you will be just fine being around others at the same time. This is more positive than negative. So there's definitely not anything that's coming in and completely destroying the energy that's around you. OK, for those of you in a partnership, I think it's really important to understand not only where they're coming from, but where you are coming from. And I think you are failing to see how much both of you could be affecting the relationship. Both of you are going through your own uh, issues, dealing with your own issues, and there needs to be a discussion. There needs to be getting together and clearing the air. As easy as it is to point the finger at somebody, be sure to count yourself in as well, okay? And it's not to say that you're completely at fault, but remember there are two of you and you could be portraying oversensitivity this week. And for those of you who are not in relationships, you are quite happy and you are at you are distant at the same time as well as being happy but you're living life the way you normally would nothing's really getting in the way except there is a the potential for family to get involved and try to shake things up in terms of your goals and where you see yourself in the next few years so there could be some pressure from family friends even i'm going as as far as that where they're coming in and they're not really thinking about what it is that you want rather they're telling you or suggesting to you that this could be better for you what I'm suggesting is much better for you it's way better than what you think is better for you that's just completely rubbish what they suggest is better for, for you is not going to happen this is where you should be uh standing up and and letting people know you know it's really not your cup of tea it's going to be harder than you think dealing with all sorts of personalities but you'll be able to sort of set set the bar straight and explain it in such a way to ease off any pressure if you will 
And this too does come with repercussions. So if you, let's say, choose to argue with somebody, it turns ugly and it's not turning in anybody's favor, especially yours. So just try to avoid any arguments, especially when people try to stick their nose where it doesn't belong. This is something that is most definitely manageable. I want to talk about your money because this is really important for you and I believe that you are being very careful with your money. You are trying for the most part, although there is the potential to slip up, but you are almost there. You're almost at a point where you're able to find a way around the last few weeks where you've spent enough that you've had to spend on. Uh, you've come to a point now where you've had to make some sacrifices, pull back quite a bit in fact. And if you're playing lotto, there is a win coming, but it is taking its damn time. Thank you, Virgo.